Hey everyone, it's Archer, and this is the start of our YouTube channel. We have some big news, as this is our new home. It's a 2019 Coachman Leprechaun RV. Uh, it's 24 foot, uh, just in the medium range. Here, let me show you the front. So we're still gonna be doing some upgrades to it, but I just wanted to give you a quick tour and just see what we bought and what we're trying to do with it. Uh, so yeah, let's start with the inside. And so we come in right into the kitchen. We have this little sofa area and it also converts to a table down there that just lifts up. And we also have another dining area here and this also converts into a bed. Got the cab over here, pretty standard, it's Ford. Uh, V10 and yeah there's like a little step down right there and then right above is the overhead this is the guest suite or the kitty suite and so here's a view of it all here we have the fridge uh, it's pretty nice size European size freezer And then the corner bed, uh, it's a full time bed setup so we don't have to undo it and redo it. It's just gonna be like this. And then one of the reasons we really like this one is just the windows on both sides. Wake up, look at some good nature. There's a little drawer right here. Uh, this would be my clothes, pants, socks, whatever. Nice storage above the bed. Here we got some controls and outlets and this is how we control the heater over here. If you step back, this is where the bathroom door is. A nice, nice little bathroom. Got a shower, sink, and toilet over here. There's this little skylight, which I really like. And there's a vent. We can open this up, get the air out, turn on the fan if we need to. There's a little storage over here too in the bathroom, but Probably gonna take this out, replace it with some better shelves. Okay, so let's go back in. Here we have our dresser. Very nice size, honestly. Here's how it looks inside. Got some tools in there right now. This will keep all blankets, clothes, whatever else. Some drawers. And this is uh, the main kitchen again. Got some more storage, got a microwave, a hood, and a range. Uh, no stove in here, but probably over here we're gonna put a little electric toaster oven. And uh, we're also gonna be replacing the sink, just updating some fixtures. And uh, yeah, here, here it is. So everything's ready, everything works. Uh, we're just gonna update some things on the inside, uh, do some colors, change the floors, uh, just make it our stop. So this, that's what we're gonna be doing for the next couple weeks and weekends. Uh, it's currently on my dad's place right now. So here, if I show you the control panel, this is kind of where we control most of our things. You can do the water pump, turn on the gas water heater, turn on the generator, and we can check all of our level so that's how much propane we got left how much batteries left i uh, got the fresh tank 50 gallon fresh water tank for us to drink and use and then we got the black and gray tank so the black tank is for the toilet and then the gray water is for the shower and sinks and everything else and then uh, down here we just got some more switches for the lights and then the main switch over here so yeah that's pretty much it um as for the at least for the interior uh, let me show you the outside. There's some cool features out there. All right, so if we go to the front, we've got this nice little storage down here. That's good for camping chairs or tables. Uh, there's a nice awning too that retracts full length of the RV. So over here we have 
a little uh, solar charge uh, for it. Uh, we're going to be doing our own solar, so that might come in handy. Uh, this is the fridge um, vent. We've got some cable connections here if you wanted to put a TV outside here and to be able to uh, plug it in. This is the main storage. So, thing that holds it. There we go. And uh, yeah, this is the main storage. Oh, the other door. <laughs> the wind opened the other door. But yeah, it's it's pretty nice. There's some more storage down here. Put ice in there or just anything. It just drains right in there. So easy to clean. Uh, my plan is to move this tire somewhere else and then put uh, pretty much cut a hole because we're right under the bed right now. Uh, cut a hole over there and uh, so that the cats can go. Uh, their litter boxes can be right here and maybe make like a simple rail system so that it's like slides out right here. And I can just do do the do the litter business, clean it up, and then um, yeah, and just and then put it back in and make it easy for them and keep the litter out of the out of the inside. Here's another door that opens up too. But yeah, here's I like that they have dual access, makes it easy to get to your stuff. And so here we have a ladder, which I'll show you in a bit. This is the main uh, charge port. This is if you go to an RV park or just anywhere with a connection. That's how you plug it in. Over here in the back, we have this uh, water access, but you can attach an uh, outdoor shower here. If you're, that's something I might do later. All right, and then moving on, we got our water connections, um, flush tank, and then the city water connection. So this one fills up, fills up the water in the tank, and then this one just then goes straight to the straight to the pipes uh, for the faucets in the shower. And then this, if the RV park or wherever you at provides cable, you can plug it in, and you can have cable for the RV. Got the gas tank; it's regular unleaded gas. Um, some of these ports over here. This is the hot water heater vent, and then this is the uh, the air the furnace air vent got some more or this isn't storage this is where the propane tank is it's an 18 gallon propane tank or a 16 gallon potentially uh, enough to last about a month depending on how you use it got some more storage here and then we got the generator here uh, Cummins a uh, very good brand a uh, very good generator there's the tailpipe for it so the so the way it works is that uh, the generator is hooked up to the gas tank, but it's so it sips the gas from the main gas tank. But uh, if you leave it on too long, or just walk away, or just you forget about it, uh, it once it reaches a quarter of the tank, it can no longer get the gas physically. So it's kind of an automatic cutoff system. So uh, I really like that. We'll always have a at least a quarter tank of gas <laughs> if we ever forget or mess up something. And so here's the front of the cab. The Ford E350 Super Duty uh, V10, like I said earlier, and then let me just show you the the ladder in the roof, and that's pretty much it. And so here's the roof. That's the the shower uh, skylight, and you got the two vents right here. The AC. And if I go a little higher, there's the antenna over there. Uh, but yeah, it's on my dad's uh, land right now and his property in Lago Vista. So there you have it. Uh, that's pretty much the quick tour of it. Uh, we're, we're literally going to start right after this, uh, taking stuff out and painting it, making it look how we like it. Um, we're going to be doing that for the next couple of weeks, probably till the end of January, early February. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. So if you've gotten this far in the video, uh, please subscribe. We're definitely going to be putting out more videos for you to see and uh, hopefully inspiring others to do the same. All right, see you next time.